welcome back to our channel i'm happy to have you guys back to this channel so we have been talking about web hosting companies but today we are going to look at the top five web hosting companies compared like we're going to compare the five the top five hosting companies that are around okay and uh, some of them will be hostinger bluehost siteground a2 hosting and dreamhost these are the top five that will be in my list and we're going to go through them and compare them in different categories and see the best in all of them we are going to compare their uptime and reliability load speed support quality pricing scalability and all those other stuffs and coming at number one is hostinger yeah hostinger is a very nice company and has been around for quite a long time now and um when it comes to hostinger one of the best things that you can know about them is they are very affordable okay they have a, oh they have a very nice affordable shared hosting good uptime that's your website's been online without going offline they have very good uptime and they have global data centers and a clean interface that you can easily navigate and they also offer free ssl that's https for your website which is beautiful because almost all browsers now don't accept a website that does not have https because of hackers so ssl is very important and most other hosting companies you gotta pay for that but hosting gives you free they give you free ssl for all your domain names and um let's go through them and see what they offer their pricing is also nice let's look at their pricing okay you can see it's always cheap to make use of them they have nice um mild, mild watering pricing 75 percent off you can go for that and uh, like i said earlier they offer free ssl so this is beautiful and they also have good storage capacity for your website files 50 gig and 100 gig for the for the highest one and um it's nice okay and um they're good for beginners yeah for bloggers for small businesses on tight budgets most of the most of the web hosting companies are costly but hosting guy is cheap but recently they've also increased their price so also take note of that and um the the people you can chat with their customer care is very very nice they speak with you in a gentle way and um their customer care is one of the best i've ever seen you can chat with them or you can send them email but mostly the chat is the best they can always chat with you first of all when you pay for their host you can chat with the ai i cannot tell the ai to connect you to a customer care representative that you can speak with now what's their weakness and what's their the bad side of them their cons yeah their lower tire plans might have limits yeah and their renewals may be significantly higher supports not always as prompt or for complex issues so when you face complex issues you might be for a long run with hosting even though they can help but they cannot really do much when the issue is complex or complicated you might have to look for a professional to help you uh solve the issue okay or you might have to walk your way around when they going guest stuff and uh you can check out their stuffs like i said their pricing gets higher but they don't hide it from you you can see here it renews at 13.99 dollars but for your payment first payment it is gonna be cheap so take note of this and that will bring us to the next one which is um bluehost and this is bluehost we have bluehost bluehost has been there for quite 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 a long time and they're one of the best also and um you can see the websites and commerce made easy with ai yeah they've also integrated ai just like hostinger with their own web hosting platform and um bluehost is very good for wordpress users and it's also good for beginner features it has very good beginner features and uh, they also offer free domain for one year i forgot to tell you that in hosting the hosting also offer free domain for one year and uh, they have solid support too 
and uh, that are even recognized by WordPress. When you visit WordPress.org, you see that Bluehost is recognized as one of the best web hosts for WordPress installations. Bluehost is for WordPress blogs, small business websites, users who value ease of setup and support. So let's check out their pricing and see what they have for us. We can check out WordPress, which is what they're really meant for. Let's check out the hosting, the cloud hosting under WordPress. Of course, cloud hosting should be more expensive than the rest. Okay, you can see $75 per month and uh, 155 dollars and $250 yeah, is always expensive for cloud hosting. And um, you get a massive 175 gig SSD storage, which is nice. And uh, that's for the cloud 25. For cloud 10, you're going to get 125 gig SSD storage. And the highest package here, cloud 50, you get 225 gig ssd storage so you can check this out it's nice for your web hosting needs and like i said earlier it's good for wordpress just like hosting guy is perfect for wordpress bluehost also is perfect for wordpress and it's even recognized by the official website of wordpress so that means they're one of the best for wordpress users uh, but there's a downside of um as a downside of Bluehost, what's the downside? The downside is renewal prices always jump, just like Hostinger. And I think many web hosting companies have also, have also adopted such approach. So let's check out their normal WordPress hosts and see what they have for us. Okay. They're not even hiding it. You save 50% and you renew at $13.99 after paying $6.99 for 36 months and you renew at 13.99 dollar so the renewal price jumps after your first um payment and it's good that they show you here so that you be aware of the price differences and um their performance sometimes lags behind top speed optimized host yeah bluehost lags behind sometimes when you compare them with Top speed optimized optimized web host and that's the problem with bluehost because when you go through bluehost it has perfect but sometimes they lack especially if you need speed for your website you might find it a little bit difficult while making use of bluehost so bear that in mind and also be aware of what you're going to face in bluehost so let's check out their normal um other stuff so let's check out the ssl and see what they have okay seems like that they you have to pay for the ssl you can see you have to pay for their ssl and uh that's the good side of hosting hosting offers this feature for free for free so hosting is better in this aspect and uh, in overall aspects i think i'll go with hostinger because uh hostinger seems better in um speed and also they also seem better in ssl the ssl is free and uh under here you have to like pay for that okay so bear that in mind for bluehost then after that we move to the next one which is um siteground i call them the best when it comes to web hosting siteground is one of the best and uh, they have excellent performance and speed strong uptime yeah the uptime is almost let's call it 100 percent not even 99 you can see the road here 99.9 .9, which is 100 1 0.1 percent doesn't make lots of difference and there is no web host that is 100 percent so they are the best when it comes to that and um they are wordpress optimized too yeah they are wordpress optimized they have great support yeah they have great support and uh, you're going to enjoy their support too and uh, they have daily backups unlike others and they also have good security for your website yeah that's nice so let's check out their pricing their pricing and the other stuff we are going to look at but who is um siteground for siteground is good for 
medium sized websites those expecting traffic growth users who want performance plus reliability over cheapest costs so if you prefer performance and um, reliability and you don't care about the cost you can go for site ground but one of the downside of site ground is is expensive so let's check out their wordpress and see how much they charge you will see it's much more on the higher side uh -huh. you can see their pricing after you pay the 3.99 dollar the renewal cost will go up that's one of the disadvantages just like others do they welcome you with a cheaper price and then it goes up so you can see 3.9 dollar per month that's their pricing for now then when you renew after saving 77 percent you renew at 17.99 dollar you can see it here 17.99 dollar that's what you renew for in your host and um also this side they give you a much much smaller storage just 10 gig unlike others uh, hosting and bluehost that offers more and you only have one website here here is unlimited website but only 20 gig while i think in um bluehost they offer up to i think 40 or 50 gig even uh hosting offers 50 gig in this particular centered package that's for the center one and um the lower storage is a really turn off for me even though they offer free ssl just like hostinger but the size of the storage is quite quite small but you can get a lot of um, traffic to your website from visitors that are visiting your website without any issue for this um plan which is a um, grow big plan you can get up to 100,000 vcs per month which is massive yeah it's massive and um the only turn off is their little storage and the the starter the startup package is very bad you only have one website and 10 gig and only 10,000 vcs per month and yet you're going to pay 79.9 dollars 18 dollars approximately after your first year expires and that's the downside of hosting so let's check out their normal web hosting not the wordpress hosting and see what they have for us okay you see the same price that you get so the good thing about this is um site ground is nice if you want performance and speed site ground is the best but you got to spend for that okay you got to spend a lot of money for that then after that we'll be jumping to the next one that's a2 hosting a2 hosting has been around and it's very 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 fast yeah it's very fast it has a very fast speed especially with turbo plans if you go for the turbo plans so you're going to enjoy it if you like speed in your website and um after that it's also good for the for developers if you're a developer you're going to enjoy a2 hosting and uh, it's more flexible and solid performance overall okay so let's check out their web hosting and see what they have to offer us okay we scroll down oh that even is telling to save up to seven it's seven percent now wow they're removing seven percent from their price which is cool so let's check out what they offer ah their prices are on the high side you get to get uh one point nine dollar per month for the 83 percent off and then you renew at this price wow so the first day you pay it's 23.88 dollars then you renew at 143.88 dollars wow for one year so don't be moved by the 23 dollars you are seeing here or uh, approximately 24 dollars here that's 1.99 dollar per month you are going to renew at 143.88 dollars which is massive and they only give you 15 gig he's a bit higher than the other one we just talked about that's siteground siteground only offers 10 gig in this package and one website just like siteground but their disk space is bigger okay let's check what they offer oh they also offer free ssl certificates that's great that's great and um their next package is uh, the plus package after the starter package you enjoy two websites and 
that's it then for this one um you get to pay 275 dollars and you can only add 10 websites that's bad they don't want you to put as many websites as you want and to me that's not great others you can add up to 30 50 websites but here it's only 10 and yet you pay 275 dollars and uh, this one too you get to pay 335 dollar and um, you only get 100 websites and only 100 gig for this price is very very expensive it's very expensive and um, people also complain about support consistency because their support doesn't seem to be consistent for their customer care so bear that in mind but when it comes to speed i think they're one of the best i don't know between them and sites ground which is faster but they're one of the best when it comes to speed i think they're even built for speed so bear in mind about uh a2 hosting so we move to the next one which is um this and uh that's dreamhost dreamhost is great they have transparent policies good reliability strong wordpress support long money bank guarantee that's 97 days that's uh over three months yeah to enjoy so they're also good for unlimited traffic type plans so it's a nice one to look for here you only get forty thousand monthly visits but you can add more websites but has lower visitors hmm? i don't see how that can work adding up 25 websites without surpassing forty thousand monthly visits might be funny for someone to hear and uh, you also have 25 gig storage it's bigger than the rest that has the other um the other hosting companies like um a2 hosting and sites grand that only offer you 10 and 15 gig here you have uh 25 gig which is great but the the number of websites you can add to is peak and massive but the monthly visitors are quite small as they're also giving you free one domain one year and they also offer unlimited free ssl this is nice this is nice this is nice so that's what you get to enjoy and the next plan after the web hosting launch we have web hosting growth under the dream host and uh we have 3.99 dollar and you renew at 12.9 their prices are not that expensive it's also nice you can check it out you have 50 websites you can add here that's okay uh you can only have 200,000 monthly visits so they have issues with number of visitors you can really get so bear that in mind and uh after that to now be the last package which is web hosting scale and that's where we are going to run this up you can see 100 gig mvme storage and 100 websites so that's it about the top five web hosting companies compared i've compared the five web hosting companies so you can check it out and choose the best one for you see you on the next video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button on our channel